This tutorial was referenced from tutcast.com. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to remove tattoos. I've got a picture of Angelina Jolie here. She's got a tattoo on her back here and also the one on her arm. So, and we'll be removing both of those. So to start with, we'll grab the pen tool to select our area. We'll just click around the area that we want to select. We'll come down a bit here because of the bruise. We'll try and blend that in a bit. Okay. And then we'll just curve to try and match the her arm one a bit. There we go. Now we'll just right click on that to make selection. We want a feather around it, so a radius of eight it will be should be fine for this image and we'll keep it at anti alias on. Click OK. Now we can see that our selection has been selected and it's got the curved edge where it's been feathered and there's ants running around it. They're also running around the right side of the page, which means that we need to inverse a selection. So there we go, that's been selected. Now we just grab the clone, clone stamp over here and we hold down the option key to sample, to sample the area that we want to clone. So we just click there. And then with our brush, we've got 17. So we go to maybe just 21. Yeah, next size up, that'll do. And we just start brushing. Now just keep resampling the area until we can. So we'll just sample here. There we go, okay, now it's just Command D to deselect, so that's the area there. Uh, what we'll do is we'll grab the smudge tool, which is the finger over here, and just to blend it in a bit more. Okay, so this is just a rough job, but that's that one done there. Now we'll grab the pen tool again to attack the one on the back, and selecting the area. Just try and keep close to the tattoo, keeping the shape. Along the back here, we're going to try and follow the line of the shoulder blade here. Uh, as you can see, the tattoo does fold down below the shoulder blade, but we're just going to try and remove the bulk of it. So just click up around. Go, just right click, make selection. Again, we'll keep the radius and the anti alias the same. Let's inverse the selection. And this time, I'm going to use the patch tool just to demonstrate why I'm not using it. Um, now, we just click the patch tool on our selection and drag it across to where we want it to copy the patch. So that looks fine. So I'm, I'm still marking it down the mouse button now when I release. As you can see, it's bled from the darker colours on the edge, trying to blend it in. But obviously it doesn't look very good. Uh, and that's the reason why I'm using the, the clone tool in this, in this instance. Although you can use either one, that's up to personal preference. So I might make the brush a bit bigger for this one. We'll go probably 35, yep, looks pretty good. And we'll select an area, we'll go here. And we'll grab that edge down there as well. Okay. So as you can see, I've done this tool a bit across the top there. That's done, so we'll deselect. And that's not too bad. What I'll do is I'll go to Smudge Tool again just to blend it in a bit more up here. And we can see the consistent marks on here, so we'll just try and smudge those out. So. Now you can see that the tattoo does go across, all across the back, so we're just taking out the part that is visible here. Okay, so that was a quick job that's been done. Now let's compare it to the original, side by side. As you can see, tattoos have been removed. There we go, thank you.